So summer is fast approaching, almost here, I hope. I realize I'm actually missing a lot of things in my wardrobe and I want to just make my new summer wardrobe rather than buying anything. So I have a list of things I want to make and I want to do this all within the next couple weeks before I go on my vacation, which I'm going back to Canada. I want to start using up a lot of the fabrics that I have on my shelf. I have a little cubby that's like personal projects fabric because it's not good for the brand stuff. So that's what I kind of want to try and start like getting into. I also thrifted some fabrics. If you saw last week, I thrifted two men's shirts that I want to turn into something as well today. Let's get started with the projects because there's kind of a lot and I want to get this done before my holiday in two weeks. First project I want to do is just like a really simple beach cover up. I thrifted this. I think it's like a window curtain. Oh, I already started weaving a rope through it. <laughs> I don't really know what it is. It looks like it has all these buttonholes, like, or maybe, I don't know if it goes on the bottom of a bed or something. I don't know, but I thought it was such a cute fabric. Like, I love the little detail and the design on the top here. So initially I'm thinking like this, or maybe I can fold over the edge. I want to keep the detail as much as possible. And then to like have it cascade down. Oh, I like. I did know of one thing that I want to do with this. I wanted it to have a tie with a rope. So I bought this rope from the market the other day. Because I love the idea of it feeling, it feels more beachy, you know? And then I like tie it on the side. I could even just fold this over, make a channel, pop it out of one of the holes. It seems so easy, but I'm into it, you know? I need to cut it, of course, because it's such a long piece. Like, how far do I want it to cascade? So how many, if I want the rope coming out here, how many is this? One, two, three, eight, nine, ten. The good thing is it's a grid, so I can just follow a line and cut. When I first started to sew, I used to be so scared making the first cut into the fabric, and now I'm just like, Phew. I'm going to fold this over partly in the middle like around the waist for the rope to go through I was also thinking instead of only being a beach cover-up it would be fun to layer it over jeans or over a dress to add more interest or even a skirt like, it'd be the best layering piece today I just went out for brunch with friends and I just had no idea what to wear so I wore white t-shirt and jeans which is like so classic but for me a little bit too boring so this could have been more exciting yeah i got it through and the one thing i was loving was because of the little holes you can see the rope through it i like that detail haha -ha. oh, i like it I'm going to knot this and then fray the edges, you know, so it's a little bit more like how long do I want the fray? I finished fraying the ends of the knot. So now it's giving this very like nautical feel. That was probably the easiest project I've ever done. That one is done. Reveal coming at the end, of course. And sticking on the nautical theme, I made a really cute hat the other day. So let's just do a little flashback to earlier this week. I made this sailor hat a while ago. I've always wanted a sailor hat. I attempted one like a year ago and it fit a baby's head. So I ended up just buying a pattern on Etsy for only a few euros. I'll link it down below if you want, but it's so much better, like so much easier. This is a lady, like the female size. It fits quite smaller, like the back of your head, which I'll show you. Take off my glitzy headband. So this is the female size and it fits more like this, more on the, the back of your head. But then I saw the Simone Rocha and John Paul Gaultier show and they had sailor hats. I was like, oh, love, but they had like little grommets with ribbon and ties through them. So that's what I want to recreate today. I'll put the photo on the screen here so you can see what I mean. I already cut out the next one. So this is the whole sailor hat with the lining and everything, but I cut out the male size. I wanted it to be a bit bigger. So it sits more like this or like around the head rather than 
on top of the head. I wanted it just to have like a different look, different options, because we already have this one and I'm gonna make another white one, but I chose a colorful ribbon, which I will show you in the reveal. <laughs> Headband is back on and I'm just going to start sewing the lining in the actual like middle of the hat and we'll figure out the whole grommet situation later. I just completed sewing the lining pieces. It's just in Paris. That's what she recommends, the lady who made the pattern. So this is the outside. This is the inside, the lining. Now she says for the lining just to cut the same fabric multiple times, but I decided to use a very thin cotton lining rather than the same fabric as the outside because this is more like a canvas material. It's quite thick and I didn't want to have that double thickness. So this is just a super thin cotton, still breathable, but a really good lining for inside the hat. Now I'm going to put all the pairs together to create the actual like top of the hat and then top stitch all the pieces together. So it ends up like this. Why do these not match up? Did I like cut them that bad? Oh, whatever, it's fine. Make it work. The center of the hat is complete. I mean, not complete, but it's together. I also did the lining as well, also the top stitch, and I added my logo on it. That way I know it's mine. Now I'm just gonna put the lining wrong sides together inside the actual top of the hat and match up all the seams. Oh my goodness. I just dropped all my pins on the floor again. So irritating. It is now the same day, but 8 p.m. I had to actually go to work and work all afternoon and we're just back trying to finish the hat. I already did the lining attached to the self and now it's just doing the outer rim of it. Now I wanted to actually make a little adjustment to the edges I want there to be a space so there can be like the ribbon between through the grommets i think i'm just gonna cut a little bit away from the top on an angle and go down i'm going to just sew the two brim pieces together i also fuse it just to give that extra like stability also when i add the grommets i think it will like really help so they don't just tear through the fabric. <laughs> just need to like press this in half like this and then I'll do all the stitches like in a line. By doing that we create this nice like brim effect. I finished the brim, now it's all nicely sewn in all the lines. And then the goal, of course, is to kind of connect it down there and then there's a little gap. Then I have my little like grommet kit here. Got my handy hammer. I just decided I'm going to just do two. I think it'll look the best that way, but what side is the best side because that determines how I place my grommets. I'm just eyeballing it and penciling it in. I remember there's one more piece to it, this. There's a little divot in it, so the top of the grommet sits in there. Put on my wood piece. Then I get this fun little stabby tool, and this is what finishes it off. Ooh, that looks nice. Now we have to do it three more times. I have the grommets on. So I'm going to tack these together at a quarter of an inch and sew this onto the actual hat, which is the exciting part. Now, where do we want If This is the back of my hat, probably on this side. I finished the bias binding just around the edge here so it just closes in all those raw ugly edges but I'm not going to show you the final result until the end. On to the next project. I'm thinking to make a top now. Initially I was not planning this but I think it could be a nice little set to have 
just to throw over a bathing suit. Like I burn easily, so I need cover-ups. Not that this is gonna do much. Usually I always make a proper pattern and everything, and this one, today I've just decided to just roll with it. I mean, the hat that I just made, I used the pattern, but for the skirt and this top, I'm just going with the flow. See what works, see how I feel. Okay, let's go here. This is our bust point, bust point up to here, let's say, inch and a half, and then this will come around here and then down. Okay. Okay. Probably just gonna surge it together. Yeah, so I'll just cut the quarter seam allowance. Cute. Maybe I just copy this from the back, but I make the V lower in the back. The V is a lot lower. A lot. Oh, okay, not actually. A little bit. Okay. This was what I was actually debating. So I ended up surging the edge, but see how kind of mangly it is? It's not so great. So I tested on the other side, just flipped it over and gave it a little stitch. So the, this is the back side. This is the front side. How much better that is. I'm just going to whip these together, surge down the side, whoop, 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 whoop. surge it all together. We'll give it a little try on. Or maybe I'm going to surge the shoulders before I even surge the side seams because I made the back a little bit wider just because I was doubting how wide it was. We now have a vest. Let's see how it looks on. I kind of like how off the shoulder it is. But it's definitely super wide. Like, look at it. I'm gonna just trim it off a little. I was just doing the final touches on this little top and I thought, would it be kind of fun to add my logo on the back? I can be vain, right? I think it would be cute. Top is complete and I like the logo on the back. I think it's a nice little detail. Amazing! Okay, next project. The next one I want to work on is a little bit of a bigger project. All the other ones were pretty simple, but the next one is a skirt that I saw on Instagram. So I'll show you the reel that I saw and I'll show you the fabrics that I have. I'm just re-watching the reel now to get a better idea of, of how it's made. Not that I want to recreate it exactly because that's her design. I want to switch it a little bit, which I'll tell you in a second. Oh, she has pleats in hers. Okay, she does pleats. Side, side, back, back. Okay, and then it's a wrap. Okay. So the DIY I had is slightly different. I have these Adidas pants these little track pants. They're actually a kid size, so they're a bit small for me. I tried to sell them a vintage, they weren't selling, so I decided after I saw this video, I was like, oh, this is what I should do with my pants. The different thing I wanna do, hers is a wrap skirt and it's pleats. I wanna do gathers in just one simple elastic waistband, but I had the idea to use this waistband to just cut the bottom off, use the pants as like panels in the skirt, but come back to the waistband and use this. if possible of course. I'm going to cut enough that I have a seam allowance so I can like sew it all back on but it fits. Maybe I should double check actually before I go through all that work. Actually yeah I'm so sorry for the noise but there's some live band happening outside which I didn't know was gonna happen today and it's like my only full day of sewing and it's so irritating. So the fabric I was thinking, I don't know, this is like too much. I thought it would be kind of fun to add a sheer panel into it. At first I was thinking the whole front, but then I thought, mm, maybe that's like too risque. And then I always have to be aware of like what underwear I'm wearing underneath. 
but I thought maybe even just like one tiny little panel. If it's super gathered, you can't really see through it. But I also have this fabric. The only thing is it has some color flaws like here in it. But if I am gathering it, you're not really going to see it. Like that could be a vibe. Or is that such a cliche color pairing? What else do I have? Maybe I have some other fabric that we can work with. This could be actually kind of cute. I would love the juxtaposition of this. Okay, yes. I want this combination. I'm going to start cutting my pants. I'm a little nervous, not going to lie, but let's just start with the bottoms because I think it's the most easy part. pants into rectangles like this and I saved the pockets I honestly almost cut one pocket off so I'm just gonna fix that with a stitch and a serge and now I'm just going to cut some rectangles out of this fabric I'm going to use as much as possible like I'm just gonna cut off this sewn edge cut it down the middle and 35 inches long I'm trying to just use as much fabric as possible to make it a bit more full this can gather into like a good front panel and then I want that little sheer panel. So I have all my pieces cut, all my little rectangles of fabric. This is the front and I actually already attached the back panels. I just wanted to see how it was looking. I don't like the seam allowance showing through this like sheer panel turn it to the pink side and top stitch it down. That way you don't see it. This is what it's looking like now. And then I actually have to even out the bottom because you can see here. I don't know why actually. It didn't line up, but it lined up everywhere else. So I just need to yeah, just even it out. But we're well on our way. Pressed all the seam allowances to the like solid part of the fabric and did a top stitch. So now you're not gonna see the seam allowance through the sheer part. Now I'm doing the hem. I'm just gonna do a double quarter rolled hem easiest I think. Then we get to the part of like gathering and adding it to the waistband but I'm curious to see if this is gonna work out. If not I do have black fabric that I can just make a waistband and put an elastic in it but I like the idea of using the original waistband so we'll see how that works but first the hem. I just have to add the waistband, but I really want to try it on. Ha ha ha! Gather, gather, gather! So fun! Okay, this is kind of the vibe. I love it. Let's try the waistband. I just did a gathering stitch. You can see it's starting to slightly be gathered, but I have to pull it more. And then fit in the waistband to see if this is going to work. This is the most time consuming part. Like I love the look of gathers, but there's so much work. We're doing it for the result. We're doing it for the end. I think I understand why the girl did pleats in the beginning. Now let's gather the front side. arm work. I 
I might be successful. <laughs> There's so many threads. Left the kids tag in it. I thought it was funny. Wow. Guys, I think it worked. It worked. I had the original waistband on it. I'm obsessed. I'm surprised this worked out. We'll do one last surge. I'm ending my day on a high note because this is turning out exactly how I imagined it, but I do still want to sew one more thing. I think the boxers from one of the thrifted shirts from last week's video, my thrift haul, for you it'll be a second, me in a couple days. A couple days and one hair change later, uh, yes, I did get a little bit of blonde in the hair. Apparently they're called money pieces, which I didn't know. But I'm into it. Anyways, I think I said last time I wanted to do the boxer shorts next. Now I have been thinking about them. Originally my idea was to make one pair of boxer shorts from one shirt. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking, but it's not enough fabric. I don't think. Because I also want it like gathered at the waist, of course, and like some volumes. I don't know what's wrong with me to think that this to transform into like one shirt when it barely goes around my waist with this much fabric. So I think maybe we combine them. Could be a thing. Maybe we could do front one, back one. I guess also the normal thing would to do like stripe side, gingham side. I think this is gonna be a little bit more to figure out than I thought. Because this is going to be a process to combine these into one pair of boxer shorts and I still have a few more items to make on the list, I'm going to divide this video into two parts. This was part one, but subscribe for part two if you want to see the boxers come to life as well as a few more cute items. But until then, I'm going to show you the reveal of the items we did complete today because they're so cute.